All right, let's break down spider row. We start in uh, reverse throne, we end up in reverse throne. All these things we're teaching is, uh, all these washing machines are loops. They start from one place and they end in the place that we began, okay? So it's just like a season, it starts, this is spring. Spring. Actually, I consider this fall. Fall, and this is winter. Winter is when it, things get hard, right? We get into an L sit. I like these fingers here, it helps the supporter. Okay? Shorten the distance with your legs. Walk this foot first onto a shoulder. Do the walk first before you do the free stuff. Help with this foot, trace her up, bring this other foot on, get her to star, okay? Walk back down, nice and slow, I'm pushing off the arms to straddle. This is a dynamic move from here back up to uh, reverse throne, okay? She's grabbing my thumbs, so it acts like, acts like a, what do you call like a, like a nut and... It's like a ball and joint. Yes, ball and joint is a good way to describe it, exactly. So that way it's loose so I can spin her around. Otherwise, if I grab like this, it's a little harder. It's like killing my wrist. Yes. Yeah. So she grabs my thumbs and then you just help support her up from here, okay? Up. Dennis, will you throw me this, the camera, please? Thank you, sir. You get a good camera angle so we can get the uh, feet placement. Okay, Sarah. So again, here, wrist. Take one foot up, put it on her shoulder, walk it up. The other foot helps guide her weight over. Her hips must stack on top of her shoulders, and then you can press up. Don't press up before, otherwise she'll fall back this way, okay? Wait for her hips to uh, stack on her shoulders. Sarah, tell me, what are you doing? Okay, so from, just from here? Mm -hmm. All right, so from star here, as you step down to bat, Flyer wants to be really strong in their arms, keeping their elbows in, and the base as well will keep their elbows in and be strong, and you can feel the tension from both sides and that's going to help you slow that drop down to from start to straddle back so then the next thing as my hands so we grab the thumbs there around the thumbs now as he pushes me up i can use his basically his thumbs and his wrist kind of as leverage so so once i get to here you see how much how like my hands are right there into his and watch my nose. feet they have to slide down yeah. and i just bring my feet down and over and get to where i can wrap my wrap my around his If my feet are extended, it's really hard for her to stand up, uh, sit up. So I'm going to bend my knees, meet her in the middle, so that she can stand up, uh, sit up easier. Pushing motion and a little bit of abs. You just sit up there. And so then, once you're here, from the top, coming down, getting a really nice hand grip. You don't want to rush this because this is, like he said, it's winter. This is the hardest time of the year. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so just take it nice and slow. Make sure you get a really good hand grip. And like you can feel like you can even hold your own weight already. If you're trying to go free and do the arm balance there, then yeah, you really want to make sure that you're, that you're holding your own weight. I curl my back in a little bit to hold, to get that, that Titibhasana, which is the yoga um, yeah. name. So. so then, but if we're stepping, so either way, really strong in the arms the whole time. Um, as I roll my hips up over onto his shoulder, Still really strong in the arms, just like we're doing that tripod headstand. And then as the second foot comes up, just finding your balance, making sure that you're not doing like crazy things with your hips, throwing your hips around. So staying really nice and uh, nice and tight there, pushing through the arms, doing that tripod headstand basically the whole time. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. Let's come down and come out. 